Hey everybody, this is Rhett. Welcome to Statistics. In this video, we'll discuss the correlation coefficient, R. The correlation coefficient measures the strength and direction of the linear relation between two variables. The formula for the correlation coefficient is pretty complicated. You need to calculate the deviations in your explanatory variable and the deviations in your response variable, multiply those together, add them all up, and then divide by a product. The denominator includes s sub x and s sub y. s sub x is the sample standard deviation of the x data values, and s sub y is the sample standard deviation of the y data values. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the formula for the correlation coefficient because luckily we have great software that will calculate the correlation coefficient for us, such as Excel. The function in Excel for the correlation coefficient is C-O-R-R-E-L and the function has two arguments both of which are arrays. One array will be your x data values and the other array will be your y data values. And one note, r is the symbol that we use for a sample correlation coefficient. The symbol for the population correlation coefficient is the Greek letter rho. In this video, I don't intend to focus on calculating the correlation coefficient, but rather on interpreting the correlation coefficient. So we need to discuss some properties of R. Firstly, the correlation coefficient is always between negative 1 and 1. The sign of the correlation coefficient indicates the direction of the association. A positive value of R indicates a positive association, while a negative value of R indicates a negative association. If the correlation coefficient is plus 1, then there is a perfect positive linear relation between the two variables. The closer R is to positive 1, the stronger is the evidence of positive linear association. If R is negative 1, then there is a perfect negative linear relation between the two variables. And the closer R is to negative 1, the stronger is the evidence of negative linear association. If R is close to 0, then little or no evidence exists of a linear relation between the two variables. Keep in mind that R is a measure of the linear relation and that no linear relation is not the same as no relation. You should also note that the correlation coefficient is not resistant. Extreme values will affect R. And finally, the correlation coefficient is a unitless measure of association. We know that negative 1 indicates a perfect negative linear relation, that 0 indicates no apparent linear relation, and positive 1 indicates a perfect linear relation. But there's a lot of room in between. Let's see if we can come up with a scale for interpreting R. Values that are close to zero indicate no apparent linear relation. Let's say that values between negative 0 0.33 and positive 0 0.33 will be interpreted as no apparent linear relation. And that values between 0.7 and 1 will indicate a strong positive linear relation. And values in between will indicate a weak positive linear relation. On the opposite end, values from negative 1 to negative 0 0.7 will indicate a strong negative linear relation, and values in between will indicate a weak negative linear relation. 
Please note that this is not meant to be an exhaustive list of interpretations for R. For example, oftentimes values of R between 0.9 and 1 are interpreted as very strong and values close to 0.7 as moderate or moderately strong. Let's see if we can guess a value of R based on a scatter plot. In the scatter plot on the left, we see a linear association. The direction of the relation is positive, so R should be positive. The linear association is strong, so I expect a value between 0 0.7 and 1. If I had to guess, I might say 0.8. The graph in the center shows a non-linear association. Remember that R is a measure of linear association. So, for the center scatter plot, I would guess a value of R close to 0. Since there's no apparent relationship in the third scatter plot, again, I would guess a value of R close to 0. So let's focus on scatter plots that indicate a linear association. In the scatter plot on the left, we see a very strong linear association. It turns out that the correlation coefficient is 0 0.995. In the scatter plot on the right, I see a perfect negative linear association, and so I expect the correlation coefficient to be negative 1. In the scatter plot on the left, I see a weak negative linear association. The correlation coefficient is negative 0 0.65. In the scatter plot on the right, I see a strong positive linear association. And it turns out that the correlation coefficient is 0 0.87. In this video, we learned about the correlation coefficient r, which is a measure of the direction and strength of a linear association. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Until next time, stay real and be rational.